Take a moment to call them on our sins, asking our God for freedom, healing, and reconciliation. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie. Mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and lead us one day into life everlasting. Amen. Amen. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion <clears throat> shape our hearts, especially those of your faithful Lord, to welcome with worthiness the Paschal mystery, to proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. And the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. 
God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart, pray for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Listen to our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, Lord. There was a feast of the Jews. Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is a Jerusalem at the Sheep's Gate a pool in Hebrew called Poseidon, with five porticos. And these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man who had been there ill for 80 years, when Jesus saw him lying there, he knew that he had been ill for a long time, and said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the waters are stirred up. While I'm on my way, someone else gets down there and gets in before me. Jesus said to him, Arise, take up your mat and walk. And immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and he walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is a Sabbath. It is unlawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is this man that told you this? Take up your mat and walk. The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, he found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. Friends, the gospel of the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, in the water, God's going to trouble the water. God's going to trouble the water. God's going to trouble the water. That opening reading from Ezekiel is filled with so much beautiful imagery. But one of the greatest is water. The temple flowing with water. The spirit of Yahweh returning to Israel. It first begins to come as a small trickle. It becomes a stream, becomes a river. And the scriptures say it becomes so large that it is impossible to cross. And the prophet is called, even though it seems impossible to cross, to wade in the water. 
to wade in the water because God's going to trouble that water. When the waters of life rise as they are these days, we feel nervous and paranoid and resistant. But yet the grace of God still wishes to embrace us. But we have to be really like that man of the gospel to take the plunge. And if we're having difficulty ourselves walking or feeling accompanied, we have to ask. When the Lord comes to us and invites us in ways that seem familiar or unfamiliar, we have to be willing to take the hand of the Lord and allow ourselves to move into the trouble, not of these times, but the trouble of God's grace. A trouble, as we heard in that first reading, that has the potential to heal not just our bodies, but our souls, our anxieties, and our fears. As we come forward to receive the Eucharist for our small community of Dominicans here present, but for you at home who are receiving this spiritually, take the hand of Jesus and wade in that water. Because we have faith, we have the courage now to raise our needs to our God. We pray this day for our church throughout the world, called to be a sign of charity and healing, for the courage at all levels of our church to be that for one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our civic leaders, our first responders, all who are on the front lines these days for the courage to truly love to heal and to seek responses to people's needs that are truly deeply helpful we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we pray for all who have asked for our prayers in very particular ways especially those who are worried those who are sick those who have died and the comfort of god might hold them and receive them. This we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a very special way, I pray for Tom the man for whom we're offering this Mass for his comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for what else, for whom else do we pray? students who are learning how to um, do distance learning, that they have peace of mind and clarity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray for the elderly, for those who are sick, and those who struggle with health, we'll care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our, our CIA candidates moving towards baptism and recession into the church. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for all the quiet needs seek within us, things known and heard by our God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of faith, the gift of our baptism. Your loving waters have called us to wade and to be healed and to be whole. Hear the prayers that we offer to you for, that we do so in the spirit of deep faith through Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, with your goodness we have received the bread that we offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness we have received the wine that we offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, and have become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God stand together, pray that my sacrifice and yours be accepted to God, the loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice that you have for the praise and glory of us name, for our good and good of all in this holy church. We offer you, O Lord, these gifts by which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest your care as creator for this our mortal life and affect us in the healing that brings immortality through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults and raise our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heavens and the virtues of heavens and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join theirs as in humble exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending on your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. May it become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed integrally into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was in, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, gave it the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy, being your presence and the ministry to you. Humbly we pray, by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we all be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And the Lord your church spread throughout the world, beautiful fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop, with all the clergy and with all your people. And for also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, who welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy upon us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Raising, raising our hands, 
and inspired by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, May we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set your apostles. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and union in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us respectfully turn and offer peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Oh, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed we are to be called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord we are As our Dominican community receives communion here, we are praying for you, but we also invite you to participate deeply in your own spiritual communion at home, praying. If you have a particular prayer, we invite you to offer that prayer now.
Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament. Help us to find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive your kindness, whatever is for their good, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to live in love. Thanks be to God.